Hello, it's me, and um, today we are going to talk about self-care. Self-care is a really annoying concept. It's become very, very trendy, but I think that what people don't think about is that it takes time, it takes energy, it takes often money, and um, not everyone has those things. Like, I've been really sick lately and I haven't had a lot of energy nor have I had time because I've been feeling unwell and um, I haven't had bunny either, obviously. <laughs> so I'm looking a bit unkempt. We're indulging in a bit of free self-care, my sister and I. Um, so I'm obviously going to a swamp to see some animals, swamp creatures, swamp critters. We are swamp critters. We're going to a swamp um, to get some fresh air and do some walking and uh, feel good about nature. Okay, we found an otter. This is really cool. He's got a fish. We've never seen an otter here before, and he's eating a yummy fish. I'm really excited. Can you see him? It's kind of hard to see. He's very small. We're gonna try to walk a little closer. Very, very slowly. Hopefully we won't spook him. He's so sweet. Oh my god, towards the door. No, don't steal his fish, don't steal his fish, don't steal his fish. Oh good. So in case you haven't noticed, I actually really, really like swamps. I like all the swampy animals. I like all the weird swampy plants. I just like being in swamps. They're a lot of fun. Okay guys, we have our very first alligator. I think they're actually kind of adorable, like little puppies. Um, please don't mess with alligators, but they're cute and docile and a little friendly, but don't touch them, don't mess with them. I, I'm just a weirdo. All right, we are beginning with a lovely bald cypress. They are all over here in the swamp. And the reason they are called bald cypress is because even though they are pine, they lose their leaves in the winter. And then this lovely plant is called alligator flag. Maybe it's supposed to look like a gator. I'm or not sure. Like flag. Flag? Gator. My dad actually had this really long battle with a bald cypress where he would plant it and the beaver would eat it and then he would build a cage around it so the beaver couldn't eat it and um, it's definitely not not this tall not this uh but uh it's gotten to be a couple feet tall now it's actually one of the most humorous memories of my father is like him battling this beaver for years on end trying to get a cypress to grow I mean, just like, look at this swamp. It's so dense and thick. And just, it goes on and on and on and on. Hi, sister. On and on and on and on. I really like swamp. Check out this little gator. He really bends in with all this water lettuce. A little American alligator just having a sunbathe, giving him a little bother, but hopefully we can walk away without disturbing him too much. But he's so cute. I want to give him a cuddle. Good boy. I totally can't get enough of this little gator. He is so, so sweet. He's so sweet. Look at that little gator head. Little gator head. On the other side here, we have a big big large alligator probably rules this little water hole but um so stunning so beautiful much less cuddly a bit more scary but they're not scary they're just big lizards that like lying in the sun and collecting warmth and eating fish because alligator flag Swampness, alligator flag, swampness, 
Cypress, we're in a swampy swamp, swampy swamp. Hi. You seem quite curious about us. Okay, bye. Check out all of this water lettuce. I would totally love to have this in my fish tank. But this is like, I think it's a state park. So I don't really want to go nicking water lettuce from them. Although it looks like they have enough. But don't mess with stuff in state parks. It's a burb. Pretty white egret. Nice burb. I like burbs. Cute burb. Hey Burb. Burb's watching something. It's done a neck wobble. I think it's going to start soon. Bird get a fish? Guess not. Ah, oh, Burb get a fish. Burb get a fish. I don't know if it did or not. Turn, turn, turn. Gator, gator, gator. Bit turn, bit turn, bit turn. Gator, 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 baby gator, baby gator, bit turn, bit turn, bit turn, bit turn, baby gator, happy, happy times, 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 happy times. All right, we are halfway through our swamp walk. I am feeling very appreciative of the quiet. Nechan, mm. how are you feeling about the swamp walk? A little itchy. Yes, Nechan got stung by a bug, which is, I guess, a hazard of being in the oh coon raccoon 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 I found a surprise alligator he is taking a nap in the sun and he is covered with I think it's dwarf water lettuce I'm not entirely sure it's cute though baby alligator well he's big medium-sized alligator so cute cormorant having a look doing a clean cleany clean fixing his feathers because he swims so much. Doing a clean, clean, clean. <gasps> so cute. Yeah, I think it's a juvenile. So cute. It, double it seems to be, yeah, it is. It's floofy like a baby bird. Clean. Here we go. This is an Anhinga. Check out his pretty stripy back. He's just doing a sit. I think he's a little annoyed at us for being here, so. Let's move on. So the cool thing about this walk is that it's semi-wheelchair accessible. It's called um, Rookery Swamp in Southwest Florida, but it's boardwalked part of the way. So it's a semi-accessible walk. My dad uh, has gone on this walk on his scooter and um, had to lift him over a few of the cypress knees, but there is this really quite accessible part. So yay to them. This is a green anole. They're invasive to Florida. They're pretty cute though. I love them. I used to have one as a pet. They live for a long time if you take good care of them. But they are so adorable and so bright and intense. And um, oh, he did a wiggle. All right, let's, uh, let's back up before we scare him. All right, that concludes our rookery swamp nature walk uh the alligators are 10 out of 10 very relaxing super soothing excellent excellent relaxation tools uh path was flat so not a lot of energy cost nothing uh which was good cost a three dollar recommended donation um but yeah those alligators very nice. Good relaxation. Super. I also learned that I should never, ever narrate a nature video. Yeah, won't be trying that again. <laughs>